it's Ryan Z. Everybody, today's trigger video are triggers that are antiques. Uh, these are things that I've had in the garage or in my attic or in my house that are up to 40 to 50 years old. And one of these triggers is over a hundred years old. When they were made, no one even knew what ASMR was. So let's go ahead and get started with what I think is the oldest trigger. It may be an ASMR record for oldest trigger used. And this is a pair of wooden stake railroad ties. Obviously, they're not going to use wooden railroad ties anymore because they will break down over time. But these, um, my grandfather had these. And my father remembers somehow playing with these as a kid. And my father is 65 years old. So these are at least 60 years old, probably older. Now, they're made out of some kind of hardwood. I don't know what kind of wood they are. And they're very old and aged. And you can tell at some point they were actually holding something in place by the way they're worn down and stained up. Let's see what kind of sounds we can make with the antique wooden railroad ties. Oh, and by the way, upside down microphone just hits differently. So while they're round and tapered, these were very obviously made by hand. So they have a lot of imperfection. Perfect imperfection. listening to the little taps and claps. splinter from these. They're mostly safe, but I don't know if you can tell. There's a couple of spots that have pretty gnarly splinters sticking out of them. stake in case we're ever under attack by vampires. Halloween is coming up. I'm a little nervous about doing gripping sounds with these. I really, really do not want to splinter, especially when I use these hands for all my hand sound videos. I was about to get splinter with that.
there's an alarm system for emergencies at the university down the street, and they have been testing their speakers all freaking day. I've had to stop recording so many times. It's getting annoying. Anyway, we're going to move on to our next trigger. But first, a public service announcement. Get your submissions in for the ASMR with friends video. I'm getting a little nervous. I haven't actually received any submissions yet, and I really want to do this video and showcase all of my friends to the world. Check out the community tab on my page for all of the details. Doesn't have to be fancy. Lo-fi ASMR is awesome. Get them in, please. I want to meet you all and showcase all our next trigger is pretty old as well. It's got to be 40 or 50 years old. And you can tell just by this little can here. SO Handy Oil. It's basically just a lubricant that prevents rust. It says a humble oil and refining company, Houston, Texas. I would bet money that the humble oil company is no longer in business, unfortunately. But this can is pretty cool. It's tin. It's got a little cap on it. It was in my garage. Belonged to my father-in-law. And makes a good tapping sound. I'm being really careful not to knock this over or smell it because this would be a pain in the butt to clean up. Excuse me. I also. 
so I can't speak. But anyway, this has some very old screws in it, and while they don't make a very tingly sound, the box does. Sorry. sounds lovely lovely sounds and I hope everybody out there all my friends I hope you're having a great day or a good evening if you're using this to fall asleep sweet dreams and good night if you're using this just to relax I hope it's doing the trick that's the whole point
What's in the box? What's in the box? Do you know what that's from or a spoof of? Put it down in the comments. I'm curious if anybody knows. Also, I am starving. I'm sorry if my stomach is growling. I'm not even going to try to hide it in this video. It is what it is. But anyway, what's in the box are some old matchbooks. Fisherman's Landing. San Diego's sport fishing headquarters. Where your sport fishing pleasure is our business. Point Loma, San Diego, California. I don't know if that's picking up the words or not. I actually briefly lived in San Diego. I didn't get this when I was there. Uh, I think when I was 23, I lived there for about a year. It's a long story. I don't want to get into why I'm back. However, I do love the East Coast more than the West Coast. I'm sorry, West Coast, my West Coast friends. I love the East Coast. Our food is better. No offense. You guys got great weather and great scenery. We got great food. I don't know if you've ever had a Maryland crab cake, but if not, you need to get one. I guarantee it's better than anywhere else in the world. Okay. What do we have next? Fresh bakery products from our own ovens. Cakes and pastries for special occasions. Brawl us to serve you. Super value. Fresher by far. What's this one? Casino Hotel, Las Vegas, 100 East Fremont Street. This is a hotel in Vegas. This one looks old. Zero Defects Helps Everyone. Firestone, Zero Defects. And this looks like an old, old logo. What is it? I'm trying to get the focus. Firestone Zero Defects with the little guy with the old Firestone logo. Firestone Tires. Interesting. I didn't know this was in here. This must have been a Mrs. Ryan's he find at a thrift store. Let's see. This one looks old. This is, but it's a politician from Kansas City. Re-elect Howard C. Reppert for sheriff. And it's got this dude's picture on the back of it. Imagine using that shit as a marketing tool for re-election. This has to have been at least in the 80s. At least. Back when smoking was widely accepted. Nowadays we have to deal with vaping. No offense if you vape, but See you, Rapper. We're gonna move on to one more matchbook. Let's pick a good one out of here. I'm looking for one that looks old and interesting. Let's do this one. This one's actually pretty cool. Beauty Charm, and it's got a chrome, like a um, shiny logo to it. And the back says Joe DeFino's Beauty Salon from Des Moines, Iowa. Phone CH47336. Did you guys just hear my stomach? Oh my god, I need to eat something after this video. I told you I'm not gonna hide it. Not today. Anyway, this is a pretty cool matchbook with that chrome. They probably spent a lot of money on this back in the day when they made it. Ugh. Classic antique matchbooks, which we have accumulated quite a few of over the years. Let's move on. Alrighty, we have two triggers left, two antique triggers, and this is an antique book about antiques. Uh, Mrs. Ryan 
spurious. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what that word is. Um, by Frederick Litchfield. And it has a very unique image. I don't know if you can see what that is right here. I don't want to mess up the focus that I've been recording with this whole video. But let's see if there's a date. Wow. 1921 original edition number 30. Easy. This is an original edition from 1921. Dude, this book is 101 years old. Oh man, I almost don't want to tap on this. Oh my goodness. I don't want to use it now. screwing around with this book. I'm not going to get crazy with this book. But these pages, like, if you can see the edges, like, look at the edges of these pages. These are, like, definitely old. They're uneven. They look like they're hand-cut. Holy crap. I didn't know this was this old. This is a literal antique. I almost don't even want to open it, because I'm scared it's going to, um, break apart. Like these pages, they're like yellowed. Look at the edges, the patina on these pages. Let's see, there's like different sections. Like this is for, I can't really show you, but this is for chairs. Like antique, antique like cabinets. What else we got in here? Like antique tables, whoa, alrighty, well. I'm not going to go flipping through this book like one-handed and not being careful because this book is a hundred freaking years old. Wow. We can tap on the outside a little bit though. Let me know how the 101 year old book sounds. Oh man, I wish I knew how old this was in my intro. It's going
not to sneeze. I really gotta go wash my hands. This is 40 or 50 years of grime, dirt, dust, shop messes from the workshop. Uh, we have like tools in a little workshop in my garage, so. And I still use this to sweep up minor messes. We're gonna wrap up this antique trigger video. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was pretty unique, and I don't know if I've seen a video like this before. If you've enjoyed yourself, like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for coming by, and have a good night. Bye.